Cenotes are like an alien world, unlike any other place on Earth, and they're under threat. I started keeping fish when I was like five years old, started with a guppy, and it led me to a career as a curator of fishes. It didn't seem like there was really anything else I was supposed to do. Why do you love this? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. It's hardwired in there, it seems. We created this cenote exhibit to be able to share this incredible environment on the Yucatan Peninsula. A cenote is a section of the cave ceiling that has collapsed. And with the water table up at sort of almost ground level, it forms what looks like a little pool or pond in the middle of the jungle. There are windows into a very intricate cave system. You can literally get in the water and with a mask on your face, you can see all the plants and animals that are making this little oasis home. There's stalactites and stalagmites that have formed over thousands of years and are now frozen in time. So they're very special places. Really the cool thing about this exhibit is we're seeing behaviors exactly like we would see in the wild. Firemouth cichlids that are breeding, they're, the male and the female are protecting their territory and when they finally lay eggs and those hatch, the, they take turns looking after the fry and then the other one chases everybody from outside the territory. You can see uh, mosquito fish picking at the undersides of the water lilies. I mean, it's, you see all the interesting behavior that happens in a cenote in the wild. Cenotes are under threat due to human activities. The ground is so porous, you're basically standing on top of a sponge. Anything that ends up on the ground will end up in the groundwater, which ultimately affects the animals that are living in the cenotes. So how can people uh, help protect cenotes? Well, if you're a visitor, put your garbage in the garbage can, don't wear sunscreen in the water. Even if you don't travel to the Yucatan, anything you can do to reduce CO2 emissions is going to help caves and cenote fishes. I started out wanting to just keep fish and learn all about fish, and in being here at the aquarium for so long, I realized quite early on that it's, it's how fish fit into a much bigger picture. It's life on the planet, it's how humans interact with that and conservation.